Well, hello, welcome to my kitchen. Today I'm making a homemade chicken pot pie. It is one of the coldest days of the year here in Dothan, Alabama. It got down to 15 degrees last night. Now for us, that's about as cold as it's gonna get. And I thought, hmm, what is better on a cold, windy day than a chicken pot pie? I just don't know. And believe it or not, my husband is sitting in a deer stand. So I stayed home today and I think he's gonna be happy about that when he gets home because this is one of his favorites. Now this is a simple, easy recipe. I am making a homemade crust, but listen, you don't have to. You can definitely buy a store-bought crust, but this is an easy way to make a pie crust, and I'm just gonna show it to you real quick. I've got a cup and a half of all-purpose flour, and I'm adding a teaspoon of kosher salt. Now, because this is a savory pie, I'm not adding too much sugar. If I was making a sweet pie, I would add about a tablespoon of sugar, but I'm adding a teaspoon. Now I'm using salted butter in this, and that's one of the reasons why I'm not adding too much salt. I'm just gonna give this a stir. Make sure that sugar and salt is all mixed in. Now I've been making pie crust for years, and I've tried probably at least 20 different versions. I've made it in the food processor. Hey, it turned out great, but you know me, I hate to wash dishes, so I don't wanna use a food processor. I've cut the butter in chunks, and then you have to mash it with your hands and get it into pea-sized pieces. I found that if you take a really cold stick of butter and you take your cheese shredder or your grater, whatever this thing is called, just grate it right over the top of your flour. It takes literally maybe a minute. I'm gonna stir as I go. No ma'am, honey. We've had a cat come in our backyard. We've got a bird feeder back there. And the cat likes birds and honey likes cats, so. Hopefully we can keep her quiet today. Now I'm gonna keep grating this butter. And when you grate it, it's already a perfect size. And see, it's all the guesswork out of it. When I was younger and I would make pie crust, I would hear make it like coarse cornmeal, make it pea-sized pieces. And honestly, I never felt like I was doing it right. And when I finally saw someone grate their butter on the cheese grater, I thought, there you go. Just takes all the guesswork out of it. I have some ice water cooling in the refrigerator. One thing that you wanna do is make sure your water is really, really cold because we wanna keep this butter nice and cold. And I'm gonna start with adding a quarter of a cup. This is a half of a cup. Sometimes I need a little bit more, so I always chill a little extra just in case. A little bit more. There we go. And I'm just gonna stir this together. See how it's all coming together perfectly. Now, it is a little bit dry. I have added up to a half of a cup of water and it's worked fine for me. So you know what? I'm just going all in with it. So let's say a half of a cup of water. We're not gonna get this completely doughy like a biscuit. It's gonna be scraggly. I don't wanna stir it too much because I want that gluten to stay nice and relaxed and not get too tight. But this looks perfect. And what I'm gonna do is take my hand and see how it comes together. That's how I know that it's done. Now let me grab some plastic wrap, press and seal. And I'm gonna take this and just put it all right here, right in the center of 
this plastic wrap. Now, look how it's forming. See that? Just exactly what we're looking for. Now, I'm gonna make a nice disc with this. This is enough for top and bottom of a nine inch pie pan. But I am making my chicken pot pie in this skillet today, and I'm only using the top crust. We like it that way, but if you like top and bottom, by all means, split this into two discs and roll them out and you'll have your top and bottom. Now this is all I'm gonna do. Just gonna wrap this up. And this is going in the refrigerator while we put this pot pie together. Simple as that. I love to cook in a skillet. To me, I just think that it makes the prettiest presentation. This is a huge pot pie. I'm gonna bake it. I will freeze some of it. My husband loves pot pie, but not enough to eat this entire thing. And of course, I'll help him, but this makes a lot. I would say it serves easily four to six people. Now, I have already got some roasted chicken. I roasted some chicken breasts the other night and I saved the leftovers and I've diced them up into bite-sized pieces. You're gonna need about two cups and this is going right in. Also, I have some vegetables. This is where you can mix it up and you can put whatever you want. Green beans, lima beans, potatoes, carrots, mushrooms, onions. I personally love onions and garlic in my chicken pot pie, but I'm just not gonna go to the trouble of adding those today. And I prefer canned vegetables. A lot of recipes, you'll see that they use frozen vegetables. To me, it takes too much time. I am using frozen peas, but these are simply diced potatoes, carrots, and I've drained them really well, and those are going right in. If you wanna to go to the trouble, you can definitely slice and dice your own, but you will have to par cook them because if you add raw potatoes and raw carrots into your pot pie, it's gonna take hours for it to cook. Everything in this is already cooked. All we're cooking is the pie crust and warming up all of this delicious stuff. Now I added about a cup of frozen peas and I'm just gonna stir this up. It's already looking pretty, isn't it? Mm, I love all of that color. And as I said, the canned vegetables hold up beautifully when they're cooked. A lot of times the fresh or the frozen will fall apart and we definitely don't want that. You know, just got some peas that are trying to clump up and stay together and they just can't do that. Now for the seasoning. I've got a can of cream of chicken soup. You can also use cream of mushroom. That is equally delicious in this. And it's just going right in. Just like that. Mm, that smells so good. Now I'm gonna add a pop of freshness and I have some fresh thyme and See these little leaves? I'm not even going to chop them. I am just going to take this and, and you pull backwards and the leaves go right in. No stems, just leaves. And you can definitely use dry thyme. That is just as good. Really, it is. I made a pot pie last week and I used the dry thyme and it was delicious. Mm. That smells so good. Now I have a little bit of salt. Just gonna give that a nice little sprinkling. 
Now the last thing that I'm gonna add to this chicken pot pie before I add my crust is sour cream. You can eliminate this. You can use a half of a cup of milk or you can just use your cream of chicken soup. That's just fine, but I love the twang of the sour cream. And in most chicken pot pies, heavy cream is called for. And so the sour cream just works really good with this cream of chicken soup and gives it the best flavor. Doesn't this look good? I wanna taste it. Just to make sure that we don't need any more salt. Mmm, that's perfect. I love it. We're also gonna salt the crust a little bit, so we'll get an extra kick there. I'm gonna push this aside. Let's get started on that pie crust. My pie crust is nice and cold and I've shaped it in a nice little ball. And I'm gonna take a little bit of flour, just gonna sprinkle it here and get both sides nice and floured. Now, like I said, you don't have to do this, but it is delicious. But those frozen pie, pie crusts or even the refrigerated kind are really good. Now, I'm just going to roll this out and I am going to try to get it a nice, maybe about a quarter of an inch thick. Ooh, that butter looks so good. You can see all those pretty little flecks. A little bit more of this flour. I think that is going to work. Now, the easiest way to get your pie crust from here to there is gently roll it up. And let's see here, just get out some of that. All right, now I'm gonna take this and roll it right over the top. Look at that, easy peasy. Oh, this looks so good. Now I don't want any of this crust to go to waste. Let me clean this up so you can see this better. There, much better. Now, this is not the prettiest thing in the world, but I tell you what, it's sure gonna be good. Now I'm just gonna seal these edges and the little extras that I have, I'm just gonna fold under. Like I said, I personally just think that this makes the prettiest presentation. If you have a cast iron skillet, just perfect. From stove to oven to table, that's my kind of pot. Just pushing it down making sure all of these edges are nice and sealed. And I'm gonna get a paring knife. I'm gonna cut four nice little slits just like that. Now I'm gonna get some heavy cream. Heavy cream is the perfect thing to add to any type of bread to get it to brown beautifully. And you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna take a tablespoon, about a tablespoon, and I'm gonna drizzle it all over the top. It certainly wouldn't hurt if any went on the inside. And just gonna take my pastry brush 
and brush this all over the top. Now, it looks like quite a mess right now, but believe me, it is going to be so pretty and delicious when it's done. Now I'm going to take a little bit of the kosher salt and sprinkle it right on top. This is going to give it a little bit more flavor and some fresh ground black pepper. I like to add this before I cook it because it cooks into the crust and not only is it delicious, but it's pretty. <laughs> There we go. My oven has been preheating and I've got it set to 400 degrees. Now, like I said, everything in the pot pie has already cooked. So all I'm doing is warming up the ingredients on the inside and then we're cooking this pie crust. And this is gonna take probably about 30 minutes. maybe even more. I'll let you know when it's done. Mm -hmm. I can't wait. Oh my goodness. Oh, that thing's heavy. Look at this. Isn't this beautiful? And I can tell you right now that this crust is gonna be flaky and crispy and delicious. And remember how I said we couldn't eat it all? Well, my bonus son, Brad, called while this was cooking, and he needs to come by and grab something. So, guess what? He'll be taking half of this home. You know, I do believe that he has a sixth sense in knowing when I'm cooking something that he loves. <laughs> I packed out for some of these cookies. Look at these cookies, y'all. I made those this morning. These are shortbread cookie. Some are filled with jam, chocolate sprinkles. They're just delicious. Now, one thing that is a absolute must with this pot pie is that you let it rest. It needs to relax. Any kind of casserole that you cook needs to just sit up for a good five to 10 minutes. And that way, when you cut into it, it's not gonna be soup. It just needs to kind of chill a little bit. If that is, you can wait that long. Do you hear that? The sound of that crunchy, delicious crust. Oh, this is hot. You know, I said I was going to be freezing half of this, and I know that Brad will end up taking half of it home. He should be pulling up any minute. Let's see how this tastes. Ooh. You know, before I taste it, let me put just a little bit more of this fresh thyme on here. Hmm. Let's see how we did. Listen to that. This is going to look good. It just doesn't get any better. That cream of chicken soup and sour cream just made the perfect sauce for this. Mmm. Mm. That is so good. And Brad is going to be one happy guy when he sees this. Hopefully there'll be some left for my husband when he gets home. Listen, thank y'all so much for joining me. Have a blessed day. You are a blessing to me. And I'll see you next time.